Just the, 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 It does, it can look at my face and it can it can oh, it type in the past. Wait, is it on? Yeah, it's on. Oh, is it recording? Yeah, Hi! Rolling. Hi there! Hi. Hello! Hi. Hi! This is welcome to what are we, we lunchtime and whatever. <laughs> What's well, the base? Oh, I was like sniper in your midst. <laughs> the base one is here. <laughs> Fantasy Freaks and me, Fedra. So this is a show where we I, I don't know, what do we just say? This is like, I don't know, this is the first episode, but because it's lunchtime. Or whatever and whatever. You guys can say because I don't, I don't want to talk. Whatever. Yeah, it's whatever. It's whatever. You're, we brought you're us, so. we brought our own lunches. <laughs> Everybody brought a lunch. And no. mine has elephants. Yeah. Mine is black. <laughs> like my heart. <laughs> and I, this is I, I, I bought mine. space sort of ish. So yeah, my base is black. Your, your base is black. My base is. Because I'm all about that base. I'm not that base. You know that song has no bass in it? Yeah. Does it not yeah. have bass in it? It does not have, does not have, it have any bass, bass in it. Okay. If you like compare it to like a song that's gonna be like an electro song, that's like, you know, drop the bass, it's like, oh my gosh, your subwoofers blew out. But if you listen to that song, it's like this happy pop song that has no bass in it. Lots of trouble. Yeah, lots of trouble. <laughs> lots of hand clapping or something? Are we, are we saying what's in our lunch? Yeah, you can say what's in your lunch. I have lunch. potato chips that everyone can have. I have, I have green beans. I have mac and cheese, and I have two pieces of chicken. Oh, oh that's mac and you cheese. Got the For a minute, I thought that was like bloated corn. <laughs> <laughs> it's bloated corn. Oh, like it. <laughs> it's just like huge bloated. bits of corn. I have enchilada pie from home. Bloated corn. Poor college student. Bloated. I have hummus that has Sven corn. and Olaf. There, there's a hummus among us. And, and, and carrots so with it. Just let it go. Just let it go. Your carrots are not safe. And I also have instant lunch, but that's probably going to be for Lee. Wow, I typed in bloated corn, the first thing that comes up are bloated corn snakes. <laughs> that is wonderful. Those are sweet. And, and then, um, uh, uh, oh, what's sweet. that? What are they called? What are those called? What, candy corn? Candy corn, that's it's what it is. Candy corn, yeah. <laughs> candy corn is delicious. <laughs> Best kind of corn. Best corn Yep. Ever. Although there's an argument to be made for cream corn. Mm -hmm. But candy Ooh. corn is probably the best. Yeah, cream corn's good. Mm. Cream corn is good. Corn. Mm -hmm. Hard to grow, but it's very, it's very tasty. Hard to grow. Okay, so shall we get Wait this podcast started? Yes. You guys have already started eating. All right, so the point of this podcast is to kind of, I don't know, we both are not, would you say we're, we're experts in our, in our chosen fields? <laughs> no. <laughs> what is this word you speak of? Expert. Yeah, expert. What's, what's, what, what? Well, basically how it kind of works is that I'm the, the video game guy. What, what are you playing? The, yep. I'm the music guy. He's and the, everything else. And, and, and yeah, like the editor and everything else. No, and but I'm primarily your music guy. Mm -hmm. And I like movies and books. And you like what? Movies and books. Okay. Yeah, that's not what I thought you said. <laughs> that didn't sound right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> movies and books. I'm saying it weird, aren't I? Mm -hmm. But. Yep. but no, that's no, not what you said. Movies. When you said movies. Me <laughs> 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 Okay, moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on. Moving on. Fine. Um, but yeah, so, yeah. we can go like, I don't know how you guys want to do this, we can like go around like to each person, what you've been playing, listening to, watching, if anybody wants to start. Well, I'll go ahead and start. Go ahead and start. Me being the music guy, I listen to a lot of music, and so a lot of recently I've been, I know, isn't that a surprise? And you listen to thought? music, and you're the music guy. I'm eating carrots, so maybe choke. <laughs> but I've been listening to a lot of Red. Especially since they're going to release the new album of Beauty and Rage this February 24th. In December. In, in December, February. Cool. It's December. a WW. <laughs> and uh, it's going to sound It's fine. Yeah. It's awesome. Insanely awesome. I've been listening to this one like 30 second clip called uh, Yours Again. That is just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Yours Again. Yours Again. And it sound, it's, just like, it's just like a verse and chorus. Not even the entire chorus, actually, but I'm always like, 
I listen to that and I'm like, ah, January is never going to end now. But I digress. And there's also a Thousand Foot Crutch. I've been listening to them a lot recently. Mm -hmm. And been doing bass lessons so I can get even more awesome than I already am. And now I'm playing Metallica. I know. I've only listened to Seek and Destroy, the only song. I can actually play pretty much all the way through Seek and Destroy at almost standard speed. It's a good song. It's okay. The music, however, is great. I have to jump strings all over the place. It's amazing. Yeah. What is jumping strings? Yeah, like, what is jumping strings? I'm sorry, yeah. Strings? Ah, I don't have musicians around me. It's like no. where um, you're it, playing on like one string. Like a guitar, you play a chord, right? Which is like all six strings. Mm -hmm. On bass, you have either four strings or five strings. My bass has five strings. Mm -hmm. And Metallica, their bassist, plays on four strings. I'm only using these four strings. And what he does is instead of playing down here and jumping all the way up here and then coming back down here, he'll play somewhere like, say, fifth fret, and then he'll play the next note that's actually really high on the string below it. And so instead of just going do 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 do, if you have to imagine a fretboard, what he does is he goes da na 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 and stuff like that. And like he jumps all over the place. It's very difficult to learn, but it looks awesome. That's kind of how you know you're a good bass player if you can jump around the neck all over the place. We can fool everybody thinking. Jump around the neck. That's what I know. Yes, jump around the neck. Jump around. That is the neck. Fretboard around the neck. Jump around. I wish. I wish I could have brought a fretted instrument here. Because it's really weird when you just see a person, I do this when I'm just around everyone. They'll tell you, yes. I will just yep. play bass or I'll play drums, I do that too. But I'll just be doing like air stuff. I would say lower your uh -huh. volume. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's just like, lower the this looks weird. Yeah, lower your volume. I have to lower my volume. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Like, so sad. Yeah. I'm like my little brother, I just get louder and louder. You do. Louder, louder, louder. <laughs> you do. So that's what I've been up to. But. Okay, so that's what you've been listening. What have you been playing? Besides the bass, like what have you been playing as in video game wise? In terms of video games, you'll find I'm not a huge video game person. When I was younger, I spent way too much time on the Portal series and. When you're um, you mean like last month? No. Last year? <laughs> Very funny. Last year is probably a bit more ac uh, yeah. accurate. Although I did recently play the Half Life series, all the way from Half Life to Half Life 2 Episode 2. And I finally understand why everyone wants a Half-Life 3. I, I want a Half-Life 3 now. I don't. And I don't. I, I got bored of Half-Life 2. Like, halfway, I started halfway through. <laughs> halfway, halfway through <laughs> Half-Life. Halfway through the first level of Half-Life 2, I got bored. You got bored in the first level? The first level, you have to, like, run away from people trying to shoot you. I mean, there is some dialogue and a teleportation. You have to, you have to run away through, like, this weird train station for no reason. And then you, I, got I got bored and lost. <laughs> How do you get lost in Half Life? It's like Portal. You can't go anywhere except I know, that made me mad. the place you have. I was like, okay, there. I have. I don't know if I saw the footage, but there's footage of me, like running up to this gate and trying to jump over it, and you can't jump over the gate. It doesn't work. And I'm like, this doesn't make sense. So I just, I spent so much time, and then I got lost. It was like this big, like subway room, like kind of place, and like there were places you could go, places you couldn't, and I eventually accidentally found where I was supposed to go. Met some people I didn't know who they were because I never played Half Life One, <laughs> and I was like, "Stuff's going on." Then got lost again. What? Technically no. speaking, there are only you... two people that you meet again who came, or three if you count Doctor Green, but there's only two people that you actively interact with that came from Half. Life. The, no, you can't play games out of order. What's wrong with you? I know that's like playing Portal Two before playing Portal. That's like playing Five Nights at Freddy's Two without playing Five, Five Nights at Freddy's because then you're like. Well, what is, what, oh, what, what is the point of this? I haven't played if Five anyone Nights comments that Five Nights at Freddy's 2 is a sequel, I swear I will post a game theory. Yeah, just no. Do not start that. Just no. Do you want to express, your, that it's you wanna very express very your intense cool. love for Matt Pat again? How can you do this <laughs> for the show? I love game theory. Actually, my little brother loves game theory. Oh my gosh, game theory is amazing. It is amazing. I decided to check it out and I'm like, these videos are really long. I have to have a bit of a time commitment. It's unusual on YouTube to have videos that are so popular that are over 10 minutes long. If you look really? at people like, oh yeah, if you look at like Tobuscus, like his normal videos, not his Let's Plays. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Not video game Let's Plays. People like Tobuscus, Smosh, Rhett Link, all their really popular videos are super short, like three minutes. 
See, and I watch yeah. Let's Plays, so I and watch plays, like you know, twenty minute yeah. videos. Matt, and then of course you like Matt Pat. He makes he spends a hundred hours approximately making a ten to fifteen minute video that has some kind of game theory, and it's like super in depth. It's like amazing. If you are a video game nerd, this is like a gold mine of a YouTube channel. Uh huh. And I started watching some of them, and it's really, really interesting. But for those of you who don't like video games, you'll probably think this guy has no life, which is false, and that he just has entirely too much time on his hands, which is true, but he's rich because of it, so... Is he rich? Pretty sure. I mean, okay. not only does he have a YouTube channel that's monetized that has over three and a half million subscribers, but he has a job doing YouTube analytics and making, like, big... Uh, oh, okay. He does like seminars and stuff like that mm -hmm. on how to grow YouTube channels, things like that. Okay. Like one of the videos, he talks about how uh, he figured out that where you put annotations on your screen matters. If you put them on the right side of the screen, they actually have a yeah like over there. They actually have a lesser chance of being clicked on than if they're on the click left it, side. Click so it, click him. Click it. Click, it, click, click my it. face. To and see my I'm in the middle, click so I'll, I'll have more chance than him. Haha. Does it work that way? I don't know. It, it seems to be like a level. He, he made it look like it was a divider, like down the middle. So like this left half of the screen. Right. So you're gonna no more. hit the so left. You're, you're only gonna half hit the of left half of the perfect. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Well, did we'll we like, did introduce that, ourselves. We did introduce ourselves, didn't we? You told well, us sort kind of. of. Yeah, we did. Yeah. And we have our names across the. <laughs> yeah, across so the top. Not, yeah. If I, I don't know if you can see. Oh yeah, you can't see Jones. You, okay. Can you? Okay. I wish this was like Sega Night Kevin. He has like a 50 inch TV sitting underneath the camera so he can see exactly what's going on. <laughs> we have just like the little monitor that's like, I don't know, three inches wide. We keep getting louder. Do I? Yeah. Maybe I do. Let me talk. Okay. No. no. So. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Okay, so. Have either of you heard of the game Epic Mickey? Yeah. Yeah, I have a machine. Oh my gosh, I'm playing it. It's so cool. It's so dark, too. And you wouldn't think it because it's Disney. Cause it's, 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 it's like Mickey. It's Disney. It's Mickey like, is not. Is that? Mickey I don't remember what Epic Mickey shirt today, but I didn't. I wore my Zelda shirt. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Sorry. Um. <laughs> 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 Pooh Bear. Pooh Bear. Yeah. Jump in. Yay. Okay. But, oh my gosh, it is so good. But as due to the fact that I only have a PS2 and a Wii, not a Wii U, a Wii, mm -hmm. like old Wii, we would like to play. That's where we Wii. would like to play. <laughs> Nintendo Wii. Wii would like to play. Um, I have a limited amount of games I could play. Oh, mm -hmm. but we could play Minecraft. Yes, <gasps> Minecraft. We haven't played Minecraft. It's so much fun. I just bought it over the um, Christmas break. Understand, this game has been popular since 2012. She just now got it. Yes. Um, you like because... a reverse hipster. <laughs> <laughs> you, you go and find things long after they're dead and make them cool again. Yeah, that, that's you're, actually what I do. You were reverse. Like, I remember when Epic Wiki came out and thinking, oh, this game looks really cool following its production. Like, this game looks really great. Like, and I, I played it, but then. I just kind of stopped playing it, stopped becoming ah. cool, and now you, you started playing it and you're like, oh, it's cool again. You are the reverse hipster. I, okay. I was, I just have my opinions and I, I, Use the hashtag I, reverse I, hipster. What? Okay. No. Whatever. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I like the classics, like Sly Cooper and well, Kingdom was, Hearts. <gasps> you can continue That's talking about Epic Mickey, I didn't mean to cut you off. Well, I did mean to cut you off, but that's beside the point. I don't even remember what I was talking about. Anymore. I don't know. You're talking about Epic Mickey and how you like started playing it. Epic Mickey uh -huh. is a Wii game released November twenty fifth, two thousand ten. By Seed Studios, <laughs> Jump Jump Point Studios, part of the Epic Mickey series. Hey, hey, that's why I couldn't buy it because I was still in high school. I didn't have money. Wait, you're in college. You're you have saying, less money. yeah, you're saying in high school you didn't have money, but now that you're in college, you do have did, money. Did you two get like um? Oh, what's it called? Like when a parent gives a kid money for doing chores. Allowance. Oh, allowance. Oh, no. Did you well, that would allowance? be more like a commission. Pay payment. Yeah, yeah. Commission. Yeah. No, I mean, like I mean, a true I mean, allowance is like you just get a certain amount of money. Yeah. Did you two get those? No, I. Well, in the real world, it's called a stipend. In my house, it was called an allowance. It's. I only got it if I did chores, and then I stopped getting it because my parents stopped keeping track of it, and I just ended up doing stuff like taking out the trash and washing the dishes. And eventually I would get rewarded with something at some point, like, hey, can I have 20 bucks? 
like a month later and be like, yeah, sure. That's, okay. That's kind of how I, it worked. I didn't, I only got allowance till I was about six. I don't think I ever, I, I think I started doing <coughs> allowance at six. Something like that. I, I lost my allowance under a wall. What? <laughs> okay, so what I did was like, I, I like, I used to get like my, my allowance in like, when I was really young, I got my allowance in like quarters. Mm -hmm. So I would get like, I would get like a dollar and fifty cents, like when I would do all of my chores that week. So you got like seven quarters. Yeah, so I got a lot of quarters. Well, the thing is, is that I like our, our house. Like I had the quarters in my hand. I was walking up the stairs, and I dropped them. And one of them was like next to the wall. And so I was like, I took my finger and I started like poking like at the carpet because the carpet went underneath the wall a little bit. And I ended up pushing my quarter underneath the wall, and it's still under the wall to this day. So if you live in my old house, then there's a quarter underneath the wall at the top of the stairs to the left, like that little wall, it's underneath there. There's a quarter there. Dude, you should have told me about this earlier. I could totally have fished it out. <laughs> Just tear down the wall. <laughs> well, to be honest, like I, I kept like every time and I still like even like a week before I, we moved out of that house, like last year, I like kinda like pushed the carpet down, tried to see if I could find it. Couldn't find it. Why didn't you just take like a knife or something? Did you take a knife to? Uh, no, because I was afraid of getting in trouble for tearing up the carpet. Just do it. That when is. No home. Sorry, that was loud. <laughs> just do it. No one's home. <laughs> just you know, just get That's in trouble good. later. Uh, yeah. I mean, how do we start talking? About you? How do we start? What was the reason behind? It? Oh yeah, no no money in college. You don't get money in college, kids. Don't go to college. Wait, is that a good or a bad message? That's a bad go, message. Go to, no <laughs> go to community college. Don't, Cheaper. Don't listen to me, but subscribe to me so you can listen to me. Because, <laughs> like, the, what they'll tell you is for a lot of degrees that require a lot of gen eds, community college is cheaper. Gen eds. Gen eds. Gen eds. There's gen eds. Like people don't like gen eds. Gen eds. They, like, they don't pertain to my... I'm doing... I'm a music major, right? Do I really need to take a science with a lab, I need to take two English classes, two history classes, a social social science, and sociology. Does that really sound necessary for a music major? No, but if I take them at a community college, the cost is significantly cheaper than if you did your four-year university. And Where they also require you to take a lot of classes you don't need. Yeah, and of course- Just put me down as undecided that would make terrible. <laughs> Major, don't listen to him. I'm not a I'm, I'm a liberal arts major that eventually will become a psychology major. Aha! Uh -huh. But go to college. If, if, if it requires a degree, go to college. Oh, I have a new book. If you want to go to college. Yes. Don't make your parents be like, oh my gosh, college is the best. You gotta go to college. Okay. So go guys, if you want I, to. I got this book for Christmas. Ow. And I just started reading it. I wish I had it last year, but this book. A big transition for the- no, Oh! Batman! Batman and psychology. This book is wonderful. I'm gonna like- That was, that was like, really loud. Yeah, just like I'm sorry. Yeah. Being, Batman and psychology. I am being very loud. This glad. book Why is so amazing. Why are you just covering amazing. him up? Uh -huh. You were just- yeah, There! There you go. Right there. There. Yeah. See, now you're covered. There. Yeah. Just yeah. We're even now. Equal treatment. <laughs> Treat everybody equally here. Except hey. for me. Because I'm in charge of all of you. Because he's a best friend. you work for me. What? He's best. <laughs> He's special. Yes, I'm special. I have peace tea because I'm special. I have tea too. It's it's it's. See, so the thing is, I'm I'm trying to like to like turn the can away from the things the label's not facing. I don't have a label. Yay! Hey. You, you have to. No, leave that out. Leave that out. Cool. Sponsor. <laughs> This episode is sponsored by Aud no, we're not sponsored by Audible. <laughs> we could be. <laughs> hey, Audible, get on that. I want free audiobooks. <laughs> you want free audiobooks? I want free audiobooks. I want to get paid, you know. All right. that fun stuff. Yeah. I just buy physical audiobooks. <laughs> physical audiobooks? How do you buy physical? Like, like kind of how like oh, the library like, has like a little. Like, CDs! Like, CDs. Oh, okay, like, CDs. On CDs. That makes sense. That makes more sense than what I was thinking. Because the first thing I was thinking is like, somehow. Amazon or whatever ships you a little MP3 player that all it has is the audio book. Because that's how the library does it. The library we have around here, if you you can actually get an audiobook from them. Mm -hmm. And it's like a little player. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a little player. It, which is what I thought when okay, so funny story. Um I got kicked out of college because I forgot to return a comic book. Hmm? 
Yeah. Explain okay. more. Well, it, it, it's, it's called a segue. It, it's, it's called a segue, okay? You guys understand what a segue? Okay. Anyway, point is, I got kicked out of college for... I got kicked, I got kicked from my classes because I didn't turn in a library book. Now, I didn't turn in a ton of library books, to be honest. But apparently, here, if you don't turn in a library book, what ends up happening is they put a hold on your account. And when they put a hold on your account, they drop you from all your classes. <laughs> wow. So I got, oh my god. But the, the, here's the thing though, is I had like audiobooks from like the, not, not the, 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 the comic book miniseries 52, they have the audiobook version of those. So I was listening to them in my car and I finally finished them and I talked to the lady and said, hey, I've got all these books, like I had like books from like Halloween, like American folklore tales and things like that. Never read them, but that's okay. <laughs> um, and I had a book called like Watchmen as literature because I had just finished reading Wa Watchmen and I wanted to like, I don't know, feel smart about reading Watchmen <laughs> or something. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, I uh, yeah. So the, the library told me that I had to either pay the fine or find the book or get out. And so get out. I paid the I paid the fine because the only book that I couldn't find was Watchmen as literature. I've got no clue where that book went. I'll find it eventually. But I paid a well, it's at the old house. It's not. I paid a thirty-five dollar fine, and then now I'm back in college. Now I'm Oops. eating lunch with you two. Yeah. Now comes full circle. <laughs> it's the circle of life. The circle of life. Singing is not one of my musical abilities. What? I sing in the shower. I sing in the shower too. I beatbox in the shower. <laughs> I listen to Billy Joel in the shower. Whoa! We didn't I, start the fire. I only it like one Billy Joel song. Since, what song? Piano Man. Play us a song, you're the piano man. Play Wait, us will a we song get copyright tonight. if we sing songs? No. Okay. I don't think so. I, Sorry, if we're singing I, stuff, I don't think it'll do anything. I don't think YouTube will, like, get it. Okay, I'm just making sure. Mm -hmm. sure. Exactly. Why are you on Hearthstone? 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 Hearthstone. Hearthstone. It's called the distraction. I just stole your chips. Yeah, I'm, I said. <laughs> I said we would show you. I noticed that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hearthstone. So, Civilization 5. Yes. I've been playing Civ 5. Can, can I go now? Yeah, you, you may go now. Did you talk about what you've been listening to besides Piano Man and playing besides Epic Mickey and watching besides. Your face on the screen. Um, or did you talk, I guess, Glenn, you didn't talk about what you were watching. What movies or TV shows have you seen? Oh, we, we uh, saw The Hobbit. Um, the Battle Hobbit. of Five Armies! Yeah, that one was awesome. They went on oh a my date. Gosh. I, I'm going to confess. That is false. <laughs> okay. I went with my little brother. <laughs> I'm, gonna I'm not sure which one of us was more excited by it. Go ahead. I'm going to confess, I kind of cried at the end. I, I know. Sad. It was so sad. And then Billy Boyd was singing the last oh, song. Wait, I was wait, like, dude. Wait, the music video for that thing is oh like simplistic gosh. but beautiful. Yeah. Wait, since, I, since we've all seen it, do we, do we want to put up like a like a thing on the screen? That yes. Oh my gosh. Spoiler should... thing. Spoiler oh. alert. Spoiler oh. alert. Oh, I, th I thought you were you you were putting a link to the song. You should definitely check out the song. No, oh we, we all, you can put it put put a link to the song. Well, if you've seen the movie. Glad in the future. Put a link. If to you've the song. seen any of the Lord of the Ring movie and you loved it. Be Watch boring. that video because it's like a love letter to all it's the fans, boss. actors, really? creators, directors, to everyone who's involved. Because if you yep. if you were on social media when Five Five Armies came out, uh, they were using the hashtag one last time because it was the one last time that we were going to go back to Middle Earth. Mm -hmm. Don't believe it. Yeah, it kind of it kind of tries to deconfirm that they're not going to make the Silmarillion into a movie or Children of Hurin. Or that one. So, I kind or of anything. Hope, kind of hope they do, you know? Mm -hmm. but, um, I'm kind of hoping. Yeah, Battle of the Five Armies was actually the very first Lord of the Rings movies that I watched. So it meant for the first 20 minutes what? I was very... <laughs> Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa. Talk about going out of order. What? Yeah, I know. That was a horror. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't you dare do that. It's a great what? movie by itself. No, what, but, the, the, what the, happened was... Talk, 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 talk. No, you, you can't do you that. Haven't, you haven't seen Lord of the uh, Rings. How have you when they came out, my parents didn't let me watch them. And I never really got interested in it until... Oh, it went over to my house! 
All right, we're going to have a movie night yes. where we're going to watch the extended version. Exactly. Which yes. are the best. Yes. Yes. See, oh I, keep getting, I need to see the original movies so I can see the rest of the you other do. movies. You do. Okay, yes. how about this? How about this? We, 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 we pick a time when we can like live stream it. We live stream that sucker. <laughs> like, we live stream that sucker. <laughs> well, we, 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 live, we live stream our commentary. We all just press, we all tell the, the, the chat, the press play, and we'll all just commentate over it. Great. Sounds wonderful. You totally do that. Well, first he has to watch it without us commentating. Because then us just commentating on it would be. Maybe like, shh. Because he wanted. Shh. But you know the you book. Like, I have, you read the book. I have read the books. In my defense, I have can, read the books. Can I books, your except chips? Except the I, I said, I am oh, sharing the oh, chips. Well, I'm taking your chips. Mm. I am sharing the chips. Stolen. If you want some chips, take some chips. Okay. If you want some hummus with carrots, take some hummus with carrots. I'm like Sly Cooper over here. But you're not allowed to have. No, you need to be sneakier. But you cannot have the, um, he definitely does not make those noises. Oh my gosh. He's more like, Bentley, what's going on down there? I can play that on bass guitar. Yeah. All right. Um, so you guys saw Battle of Bob so you want to put up like a spoiler thing? Hmm? We did. Yeah. Spoiler? Okay. Well, there it is again. Spoiler in three, spoiler two, alert. one. I hate it. Billy and Killy die. <laughs> what, what are we spoiling? Well, that was... Okay. Billy and Killy died. It was sad. Yes, oh, yeah. That's why, that's I was like, I know they're going to die. Cry. I know. But they don't I do it. I knew that part. Until at the very end. It's like, yeah. I, knew, I knew it was coming. I knew those three people were going to die. And I was like, it's coming. <laughs> it's coming. Which one dies first? And when I saw, like, what, one thing that didn't make sense about Killy's death, though, I think it's Killy. Who's the first one who dies? Killy, right? I get them mixed up. Who's no, the one in love with? Who, I think. Who's the one in love with Tario? I think it's Keely. Is that Keely? I th Feely. Then the other one. Oh. So Feely dies first, right? Mm -hmm. So the way he gets captured, if you look at the movie, he's coming down a hallway and he sees lights coming down the next tunnel. So he turns back to go to the next one. There's lights coming down to that one, and there's a third one that's coming down to that one. And so then the implied situation is then he's pinned between three columns of orcs, all headed the exact same direction in a crash course. Well, no. Um, it's for dramatic. No, it was, well, no, it was, it was, it was intentional. It was intentional. They, they intentionally drew, they were intentionally drawing oh. all of the it was a trap. dwarves in to kill them. It's a trap! It's a trap! Jinx! You owe me ginger ale. Darn. That is a technically a soda. That is technically a soda. Technically a soda. And it's my favorite. <laughs> you heard it here first. Next podcast. I'm buying her a soda. Yay! <laughs> I wonder what people think when they look in here. I don't know. They just... <laughs> I wonder why are they all face in the same direction? And why do they have front like, laptops in front of them? Why, why are they... they talking to someone I can't see? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All these questions and more. Answered. Never. <laughs> Answered never. Although, what I will say is that I did like like the very end because you haven't seen it, but in Joan, I don't know if you noticed it, but like. My sister and I, when, when we saw it, because I saw it once with, um, with, with Stu Crew, and then I saw it again with my sister, and when I saw it with my sister, we went back and like the first thing we did when we got up that morning, the morning after we watched it, we both went downstairs and watched uh, The Lord of the Rings. So we like, started watching it from Fellowship and then we finished, we watched all the movies. We didn't watch the, the rest of the Hobbit movies, but we watched um, the, Lord, the three Lord of the Rings movies. Mm -hmm. And so... We watched it, and after coming off of watching the ending to Five Armies, and then watching the beginning, the, it's the exact same scene. I, I think they reshot it, but... Yeah, looks like what they did, I haven't seen the first movie, obviously, but I recognized from the books the very last scene. And yeah. so my thinking was that what they did is they basically did that very first scene from a different angle. They did, you're right. I mean, there's not, there's not anything else to be different. So I, I, I know, I know they reshot it, but I think what happened is when they reshot it, they just reshot it from a different angle. Okay, so yeah. you're talking about the part where they're like, where it's like we don't want any solicitors yeah. and that's or well thing. wishes. I think what happened was as soon as he goes off screen, I think what they did is they took the audio, yeah, and just put it there. Uh 
At least mm -hmm. that's the, I think that's what they did. Because it just like sounded so exact. Well, they did already have the exact same guy playing... Um, Bilbo. Old Bilbo. Bilbo. Old Bilbo and the same guy playing <laughs> Gandalf. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it wouldn't have been hard to... He's in my coven! Or just, you know... Sorry, I'm sorry. Sir Ian Sir Ian McKellen. Sir Ian McKellen, yes. And the sir. guy who plays Sour Man is also a knight. I can't remember his name, though. Um... Darn, what's his name? He played Dooku, too, by the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Only person to be in Lord of the Rings and, and Star, Wars. Star Wars at the same time. Amazing. Episode uh, two. And he was in X Men. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, he was in X Men. If I oh, if I got my right. dates right, I'm he pretty sure. The X -Men. most delicious bad guy ever. Oh my gosh. Delicious. Delicious. Let me clarify. Isn't that how people describe Loki? <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. No, I'm not, so, not. No, you're not sorry. So it's like he just he just. No, like, I'm sorry. Likes to be evil. It, it, so Ian McKellen it's, it's played awesome. Gandalf. That's right. Or uh, you're he, he, me. Sorry, Ian McKellen played Gandalf and he played Magneto. Yeah. No, not Dooku. Okay, so Christopher Lee. Christopher, Christopher Lee. Lee. Amazing Christopher Lee is his name. Yeah. Mark Glenn. Great point. Welcome to Who's Line, where the points don't matter. <laughs> points are like our Twitter account. Lunch and whatever. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Okay, so you guys saw five armies. Did you see anything else? Or, well, I'm gonna put the spoiler um, thing down. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Spoiler alert is over. Fatality. Um. um. I watched. <laughs> I, I watched. A older movie with my mom, and she was like, "Oh, this movie is really good." What great. movie? Oh, and it was called Gone with the Wind. No, Annie. Oh. No, it's um, I'll, I'll called talk about the, that my turn. the Bedroom Window. What? And Never it was like a murder mystery. Goggle it. You're, you're yeah, the official Wikipedia yeah, guy. What's I, it called? I closed my laptop. Uh, the Bedroom Window. Bedroom Window. Anyway, it was kind of like a murder mystery sort of ish, a little bit. Ooh, this sort movie of. does not look Christian. No, <laughs> no, it wasn't. It, it, I can just tell just from um, the, Oh yeah, great in art. Um, but it had um uh Radar. if you watch if you watch Downton Abbey, um Radar. it has uh Lady Grantham. I don't not not Maggie Smith, but um You can go talk about your Downton Abbey somewhere else. Cora. That's what it is. Cora. What? Cora? Cora. Cora. Stop with your Zelda mind. Um, it's not what? <laughs> what? No! Co Legend of Korra! This person! Korra! From Avatar! Oh, I've never watched Avatar. <laughs> Push you out never of the watched well, I've never Avatar. watched Avatar either, so there. Avatar! Avatar? Avatar. 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 I have the box set of like season one, season two, and season three of Avatar. What's Last the name of the second book? Second movie? A movie, Lord of the Rings. Two Towers. Two, two towers. towers, that's right. I promise, it I am a nerd. I just don't have the greatest It even memory. has the two number placed very nicely exactly. in it. Exactly. Un unlike unlike um, Too Fast and Too Furious. Too Fast and Too Furious! So, you know, I did a little bit of research. You know how John said that Christopher Lee is the only person who's both been in Star Wars and Lord of the Rings. It turns out that Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, came out the exact same year as Star Wars Episode Two. What? Coincidence? I think not! <laughs> I put thumbtacks on my stool! Look, I know it's you! <laughs> Look, first thing we <laughs> See, right, right there, 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 he moved! <laughs> no, 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 wait, 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 right, right, right there! Why does he move? There's no thumbtack on my stool, and then when he moves, there's a tank! Coincidence? I think not! I just knocked my drink over. So. Good job. Good thing there wasn't yeah. anything in it. Alright. Did you get a sequel? Oh. Sorry. Um, I was worried about that. Have you guys <laughs> talked about what. They're making us. Are you guys done? Okay, fine. Done? Finish? Yes. Okay. I saw Annie. You saw, like, the new one? Mm hmm. Okay. I saw Annie. How, How was, was it? it? I liked it. But Jeez. some of the new oh, songs. Gosh, were, you guys don't have to whisper. <laughs> Should to be quieter. Should be quieter. Well, I think what we're gonna do next time is we're gonna have a microphone sitting like right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're just gonna talk like this. That, that sounds really creepy. Beyond. It sounds so creepy, but it's. Did you just reply to me? Why? 
I'm sorry, mm-hmm. you, you, you said something on the thing. Anyway. I did? Oh, I did that before we started. I the saw, thing with the thing. You know the I thing? promise I wasn't on Facebook. I saw Annie, yeah. which was good, mm-hmm. but I didn't, I didn't like some of the, they added a couple different songs. Like, like the old songs, like one of the songs from, you guys have, have you guys seen the original Annie? A long time ago. Mm-hmm. It's all parts of it. Okay, well there's a song that um, Miss Hattie sings, which is, it, the song is called Little Girls, and it's kind of, it, it, it's, a, it's a comedic song about her, like it's kind of a villain song, but kind of not, she's not really a villain, well she is, but she's not. Anyway, point is, is that this is, I don't know, should I put up a spoiler here? Considering it's a very new spoiler. one, I would, yeah. Put up a spoiler. Spoiler alert. Okay. Spoiler alert. Alright, so, uh, Miss Hattie, like, owns the orphanage place. And so the little girl's there. It's like a foster home or something like that, I think. I thought it was um, an orphan home for girls. It, in the original movie it was, but in this it's not. Hmm. Um, but what happens is the uh, the foster home, it's it's a foster home, so there aren't a lot of girls. Like in the original movie there's like a bunch of girls. Yeah. In this one there's not. Okay. So what ends up happening is that the um, uh, Miss Hattie like sings her song. And rather than in the original movie, like all the girls are like running around and like doing things and like messing with her and like things like that, in this, instead, she keeps seeing little girls everywhere. It's really, really funny. So like, it's like the way they do it is like really creative. So like they have like one of the girls like on the ground, like she's like hallucinating that these girls are everywhere. And so like, one of the girls is like on the ground, like holding up the coffee table. <laughs> it's really funny. And they're all like she like she like opens cabinets and the girls are like holding plates and things like that. It's really funny. But there was one part in the in the song that I just thought this is like a random factoid. But like the she opens up the um, she no she's like she, she's walking down the hall and there's this girl holding a lampshade above her face like dancing. She has like a cut out smiley face where she's like dancing, <laughs> like she's sitting she's sitting on the table. And then I was thinking, I wonder if they're gonna like because it was like one continuous shot going down this hallway. And I was thinking, I wonder if they're going to take her off and replace her with the lamp. And so what happens, I just see this brief little shadow, the editor missed it, for like one second there's this brief little shadow, and it was them taking her off of the table and putting the lamp on the table, so that when the camera goes back and you can see the lamp in the background, it's a regular lamp. But there's this one little like frame of like a shadow, and I'm just like, noticed it. <laughs> Wait, so it's one of you shot the whole time, there's no cutting at all. Um... Unlike like it just pans games. over, you see the girl in the lamp, and then it comes yes. back, and then it comes back to the lamp, like just one continuous motion. Yeah, it, well, wow. that particular thing, like I think the entire song, I believe, is just one shot. Oh, wow. Not, not inconceivable, but not very common. No, oh. because I mean, yeah. it, and if they cut it, I couldn't tell, or I don't remember if they cut it or not. I'm pretty sure they don't know. That's that's the interesting thing about it. Yeah, because I was thinking it would seem so unusual to yeah. make it so that there was even a possibility that a little shadow like that could happen. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, see, I, I watched it, and then I also, what else did I watch? I watched... Who directed that movie? I don't. Uh, I know Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith produced it, I think. Anyway, other than that, it was really, like, not other than that, that was a really good part of the movie, but other than the songs that uh, Mr. Stack's, I don't like the songs Mr. Stack sings, they're really awkward and strange and weird, and I'm, I don't think it's him singing. <laughs> <laughs> so it sounds really awkward. I mean, if it is, more power to him, but it just sounds really weird to hear Mr. Stack saying. Um, oh, it's Jamie Foxx, man. Oh, well, Cameron Diaz was in this one, too. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Cameron Diaz played Miss Hattie. It was so funny. Dude, she was a producers are listed as being Jay-Z, Jada Pinkett Smith, and Will Smith. Yeah, I, I, t- I oh, never do it. Like, their, their names were together, Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith. Three I know. high-level musicians. I didn't know Jay-Z. It's about darn time. It was good though. It was really good. Well, I mean, you they, say it's they good. It's not their own. I'm looking at these ratings. IMDb gave it a 4.9 out of 10. Rotten Tomatoes a 27 oh, percent. Three out of five from why. Common Sense Media and Metacritic gave it a 33 percent. Why though? Well, I'm gonna check IMDb because I trusted them the most. Yeah, yeah. Look, also, the director was Will Gluck. Never. Look, look, look at the why because that doesn't make sense to me. Because it, if you like the original movie, and the, I don't know why you wouldn't like this one to be honest. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 a retread, but it's a smart retread. What it does is like they're like okay, so the spoiler finger's still up, I think. So like the spoiler. The uh it's interesting because the um what was I gonna say? 
the, the, the very first shot in the movie is like a classroom, and there's this little girl dressed up like the original, she's dressed very similar to the original Annie, she has like bright curly red hair, and she's like giving this like speech, and it's really, it's really funny, okay, because it's like, oh, I get it, they're making a joke, and then the teacher goes, okay, Annie B. <laughs> So they have Annie A in it, just like in a normal classroom. So that made me kind of chuckle because it was like, okay, I get it, it's the original Annie. And kind of making a little bit of a joke about it, which is funny, I thought it was funny. Um, but like, like the, the very first thing the movie does is it starts off with her giving her, and now it totally makes sense after watching the whole movie. Like one of the, do you guys, I don't think you guys care about spoilers, do you, about the movie Annie? No, no but you've already spoiled it. I'm not gonna watch it anyway, so. Wow, it's a good movie, I liked it. I'll but probably anyway, watch it eventually. Yeah, you'll watch it eventually. Well, one, one of the big, like, shocking moments of the movie is that she can't read. And it's, it's explained, and I, I was surprised at this, I didn't expect it to be very subtle, but when I was watching the movie, I didn't notice it, like, the very first scene, uh, her teacher asked her, okay, Annie, are you ready to give your, your um, presentation? Where's your paper? And she goes, oh, I have it up here. And so she gives her presentation on Roosevelt, I think? I can't, I can't remember. Um, yeah, it was Roosevelt, which was, Roosevelt, I think, was the same president they visited in Annie, right? I'm not sure. What? I will interject at this point while he works on that. I'm doing a little bit of digging, and Metascore apparently actually is a composite of multiple reviews, so I actually haven't found an actual review, but it averaged a bunch of normal reviews and user reviews, which the critic reviews go all the way from 75% right. all the way down to zero. 30% um, was the one from Los Angeles Times. I will caution you, though, that if you liked The Hobbit, keep in mind this is the same place that decided The Hobbit Battle of Five Armies deserved a 59, which out of the top 20 movies they reserved, they reviewed, um, it makes it the sixth worst. Um, ahead of, apparently it was just slightly better than Exodus, Gods and Kings, Horrible Bosses 2, Dumb and Dumber 2, and Taken 3, the lowest rating of 25. <laughs> okay, yeah. so, that, that's interesting. It's very interesting. But I'm not gonna completely describe what you just said, but I'm gonna completely disregard what you just said because there's found the information I needed. So, <laughs> um, in, in the in the first Annie, in the original Annie movie, they they meet um, um, President Roosevelt, and Annie is the one that convinces him to make the New Deal. I I remember that. I was like, okay, that's that's funny. So in the in the in the new movie, in the new Annie, she she's up there and she has to give her report on President Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Okay, it's a callback to the original movie, mm -hmm. but it's not done in a way that's like, like because what I was expecting the whole movie is that okay, so because in the original movie they met the president. In this movie, they're going to meet um, someone pretending to be President Obama. I thought that that was going to happen, and I was like, okay, this is going to be interesting. You know, to what? I wonder what Annie would say because the the original movie was kind of saying, oh yeah, Annie was the one that came up with the New Deal, not President Roosevelt. I'm like, okay, so what is she going to come up with? And I, I jokingly thought in my head, is she going to be like, okay, here, rid of this stimulus bill? And I was like, that'd be hilarious. I'd laugh so hard at that. But they never met him in 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 the movie. But there were a ton of callbacks where like. The original movie where Annie talked about um, um, Roosevelt. So like the very first song in the movie is like like the kids like 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 beating on the table going. But it's like a classroom full of kids and they make a beat and then she goes now you're mad so stomp your feet and it's really it's really cool because it it built each of these songs like builds like the second song in the way home is like her like the, it starts out with like no no soundtrack in the background right. And as she's like running back home from school, she keeps passing things. It's like a car alarm going off, and a jackhammer becomes the beat, and the car alarm going off is like a background, and it, everything builds on each other. And you guys know how much I like things that like build on each other in terms of music. Okay. So as she's running back home, she gets to the very end, and there's this like symphony of city noises behind her, like as the background track, which is really cool. Um, like I said, some of the songs are forced, like. Mr. Uh, Mr. Stax, he's 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 okay, but to be honest, they, I don't think they they could have spent a tiny bit more time. Um, listen, they could have spent a little bit more time on his relationship with Annie. It didn't quite mesh as well as um, the original Annie with Mr. Warbucks and Annie. It didn't the relationship didn't quite work as well. Not to say the actors didn't do a really good job, because I think they did. 
But, like I said, uh, Mr. Sachs had this one song in a helicopter, and it was a really weird and awkward song. It was weird and awkward, like, I was like, oh, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it at all. But yeah. So, other than that, I haven't been playing anything. I just been, I just watched, like I said, I just watched Annie, really. Oh, um, this is going to be quick. Uh, you can put the spoiler finger down, by the way. Um, <laughs> no spoilers. We're done. We're done talking about Annie. Um, You're really no, I just I'm so well, actually, hold on. Let's put it back up real second. The reviews talked about the one review that I read that gave it a bad review said that uh, it had multiple problems with the fact that it was really dark. It was not as lighthearted as the movie and the Broadway production was supposed to be. Um, apparently, it's really dark. Um, the lady, Mrs. Hannigan, the person who runs the thing, is a sexual predator, and apparently the yeah, this is weird stuff. <laughs> I mean, how did you not know that? <laughs> uh, okay, so okay, so look, if if you compare Miss Hannigan, the, the the new Cameron Diaz Miss Hannigan, to the old one, okay, it, why did you just point to me? I, I'm I'm making I'm making little pictures here. Are See, you making little, pictures? Yeah. Side, okay. You're you're totally gonna edit them in, right? Pictures. No. <laughs> okay. don't, don't don't do that thing that she just said. <laughs> anyway. So um, hard. I, <laughs> Sorry. I mean, I don't know. Oh, never mind. It doesn't even, it's just even, dark. It just seems like everything is just really dark. Oh yeah, and, it's, and apparently uh, Daddy Warbucks is, is Will Stacks and he's actually a billionaire going for a cutthroat race for mayor. Yeah, and it's he's like really he's, corrupt. He has a lack of humanity. Um, he, but doesn't Annie change him? Isn't that the whole thing? That's the, the I, mean, I mean, yeah, like, well, I mean, like the whole point is that she makes him see another side of the city that he hasn't seen before. He, ma he makes him get, the, the, the whole, like the emotion of the movie is he grew up in, I think he said he grew up in Harlem, if I remember correctly, from, from the movie. Ooh, okay. He grew up in Harlem, and he, he clawed his way to the top, and it's implied that he did it kind of, sometimes he did it um, um, dishonestly. But the movie itself, Annie's, is a publicity side, and she, she's adorable, by the way. Like, she's like, I like her, I think I like her better than the, the original Annie, in my opinion, was kind of annoying. She's less annoying and more, like, the original Annie was kind of pictured as this, to be honest, she was like, she was written by people who didn't understand how little girls spoke, which that was kind of part of the charm of that she's smarter than she should be, which this Annie is, but she's not to that extent. Like I said before, like there's that part where like the big reveal where she can't read, yeah, and that's that's a shock to the audience and to everyone around her because she's so smart, but something like she can't read. I know I'm looking at the time, but anyway. Um, I, I don't I have no clue why Miss Han I mean Miss Hannigan like she she tries to flirt with every guy that shows up which is it's done for comedic effect just like the original Miss Hannigan did the same thing with uh, with people that she tried to look nice and she was doing all that stuff and it's like I don't really see a difference between this Miss Hannigan and the other one I don't know yeah. it doesn't really make sense to me it any anything like that is done for comedic effect because She's painted as this desperate lady, this, this desperate lady who used to be a superstar. Like that's kind of a, jo a running joke throughout the movies that she used to be a superstar, and all the girls roll their eyes and they'll like mouth what what she's about to say because they've heard it a million times. So like she used, I don't, I don't know what band they used, but there was like a, a really funny joke that I remember that was she was like, I I was gonna be a blowfish from the band Hootie and the Blowfish. That's funny. In my opinion, that's just funny. <laughs> So I, mean, I, I don't I don't think Miss Hannigan is at all you know, she's not that bad. And honestly, <clears throat> I it the the movie she's redeemed more in this movie than she is in the other one. In the other one she just kind of like in this one, instead of her brother coming and like trying to find Annie's parents and get money out of it, it is Mr. Stax's assistant who is actually cutthroat. It's Mr. Stax's assistant who he goes to Miss Hannigan and tries to uh, get her to fake Annie's parents showing up. So it's it's different than the original movie, and I think it's different enough. It has enough funny callbacks to the original movie to make it interesting. But like there was one line that Annie goes, You mean you don't have a house with a million servants? And he's like, No. Because <laughs> it just it's funny because in the original movie and then the Broadway musical, it's a house with a million servants, it's a big dance number. And this the, the dance number is between her, 
Mr. Stax's assistant, what was her name? Penny? I don't remember her name. I, I can't remember her name for the original movie either. I just looked um, at it. Darn it. Yeah, but you know, it's it's her and the late, oh my gosh, that lady is so funny. Um, I forget her name, but she, like, she does this great Russian, like, Slavic impression, but she works for, like, the government. She's really funny. So she's, like, through the whole movie being, like, comedic relief. But so instead of, like, a giant dance room with, like, a million servants, it's just Annie and the assistant and the government lady and Mr. Stax is trying to study in there, dancing around this high-rise apartment, and the smart house is the servants, not actual servants. So it's really funny because the smart house is doing a bunch of things that and like because like in the original movie like Annie like runs across the pool well in this there's he has like a fountain thing like right next to his door she like jumps on it and the water's like spurting up from it so it's similar to the original movie but different so I don't really I don't really if you like the original movie if you like absolutely love the original movie, don't want anything to change you won't like it if you didn't like the original movie I don't know you you may like it you might not if it's like, different at the very least it's different um, like I said my only problem is some of the songs were kind of forced, and I didn't like that at yeah. all. But some of them flowed so well that they were just kind of seamlessly just happened and then stopped. It was really, it was really, it was really good the way they did that. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Yes. We'll be back same time, same channel next week. We haven't figured out what day that. I don't be. know what day we're gonna upload. But we know when we're gonna film it, so <laughs> it'll happen. Eventually. Uh, eventually. <laughs> no, no, don't say that because then it won't happen. And, and we uh, could, it, we could it, have a guest next week. We totally. Could possibly have that a could be a thing. Week. So you should probably show up. You should probably show up. There you go. And go watch The Hobbit and Annie. <laughs> if you, yeah. Definitely The Hobbit, yeah. Jeez. And play Kingdom Hearts. Play Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have anything? Half Life, anything Portal, from anything from Red. Valve. Anything Red. Anything, Red. anything that's from Red. Yeah. That's New album comes out in February, so we'll have a few episodes to talk about that if you want to. I didn't play anything. Do we, like, no. I played like Five Nights at Freddy's. I played we should talk about Five Nights at Freddy's next time. Oh my gosh, we should like all three play Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna say we have, we have to end. We have to end. Okay. But yeah. I'm gonna have to tell you one thing okay. for next week. One thing. One. One thing from next week. One thing. We're gonna talk about Five Nights at Freddy's, okay. and I want you to think about this fact. It is one thing to watch someone play Five Nights at Freddy's. It's entirely different when you're actually playing it, and you'll get to see why next week. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys next week. Bye. 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 Say bye. Bye. I I no, I'm, 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 I